This is Matthew 26 and 24. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechach Wadash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to go into uh, betrayal. Okay? And it's better to remain with the Lord. Okay? Because those who betray the Lord, alright, which an example of whom the Most High spoke of from the very beginning that this guy was mentioned is Judas Iscariot. Okay? And we've seen the end of that guy. You know? The end of him was worse than the beginning. Okay? You know? And those that betray the Lord, all right, are false prophets, fallouts, okay? So, I'm reading once more. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born, okay? So, when you look into this word uh, betrayed, it says to give into one's hands of another. Alright. Like you have certain guys out there. Certain guys who call themselves men of the Lord. Okay. That, um, you know, it's, it's being unequally yoked with unbelievers. Alright. Taking gifts from, from uh, unbelievers. Alright. Pushing off to the world that Yahweh Shai is a black extremist. You're giving into the hands of another. Okay. To give over into one's power or use. Okay, because Esau Edom all also, you know, wants to demonize us by calling us black extremists. Here, here you are giving them ammo. That means your betrayal are of the Lord. Those that, you know, fight tooth and nail that try to say that Yahweh Shah is not a dark skinned man. Okay? Say the Old Testament is done away with. You you're betraying the Lord. Alright? You're taken away from the Lord. To deliver to one something to keep, use, take care of, manage. To deliver up treacherously by betrayal to cause one to be taken. The scriptures speak about those who teach Yahweh Shah for envy and strife. You're betraying the Lord. Okay? Because you don't teach Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah according to how the word teaches. You teach according to how you want to teach. Guess what? You're a betrayer of the Lord. It says by betrayal to cause one to take. To deliver one to be to be taught, molded, okay? Teaching Yahweh Shai envy and strife, to commit, to commend, to deliver verbal commands. That was it. That's all I wanted to get on that. Let me see. Oh, this is a good going down to the strongs definitions from G. 3844 okay that's and G1 what's that G1 325 to surrender that is yield up and trust transmit betray bring forth cast commit deliver up give over up hazard put in prison recommend okay and that's going into the fallout, boys. Because, hey, you're betraying the Lord. You're putting him back in the prison. All right? You know? You're putting the Lord back in prison, which basically spiritually goes into you not pushing his word how he wants it to be pushed. All right? You not giving him that voice, all right, that he wants. All right? So... I want to get further into more definitions, okay? And this is the, on the etymology for the word betray, which is a verb early 13th century, prove false, violate by unfaithfulness, okay? Those that then stick it out with the Lord through hell, through turmoil, you're betraying him, okay? And you know that a... Hey, even Jake sing about that in their songs, man. They forever bitter against that dude that betrayed him, man. Or sold them out to the cops. 
All right, so it says betraying, deliver or expose to the power of an enemy by treachery. Also mislead, deceive, delude. All right, two thirds, false pastors, false prophets. Obsolete, Middle English tray, from Old English train, betrayal, deception, deceit. From from Traer, modern French, that I hear. I don't know how you say that. This is betray, deceive, from Latin, trader, trader, hand over, from trans across. So you literally hand Yahweh Yahweh Shai, all right, over to Esau. Okay, you know, not literally Slakia, but spiritually. Okay. From 1580s as unintentionally show a true character 1690s as indicate what is not obvious from 1735 as reveal or disclose in violation of confidence you know and hey you wonder why hey, the Lord can't trust you after that you know like the scriptures say you know because when you you betray the Lord, all right, by not keeping his word, all right, by not pushing his word in truth sincerity, all right, like it says, um, it is harder, man, I forgot that scripture, um, It's lucky. Can't remember, but it's a scripture that goes something like uh that speaks about, you know, um, you know, winning a friend over that you have already portrayed, man. It's hard. Okay? And that's why two thirds, the most high hates them, you know, the Lord got a bone to pick with them until this very day. Okay, because they betrayed the Lord over, all right, or they they uh as as it just went into, um, what was that definition? They hand it over, like it says from Latin, tradere, hand over. They handed, they literally handed Yahweh Shai over to the Romans, knowing that he did nothing wrong. Okay. So now I want to go into the Google definition of betray. Okay, and I want to. Uh, I already went into the definition, but I want to touch more on the synonyms. It says break one's promise to. Because believe it or not, when you came into this truth, you made a promise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, that you would uh, uh, serve him, man. Alright, because coming into this truth is indicative or it's synonymous into basically joining, being joined again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Us and uh, us of the hopeful light, we are what we are. Uh, uh, we are um, priests to the Lord. Okay, which the priests are the Levites in the ancient world, which goes into loyal, which means joined to me. All right, and and this modern time, all right, those that you know put on, all right, and and, and decide to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, those who um come into the faith, those who come into the marriage. All right, hey, you you are now promised to him. Okay, so this is break one's promise too. Okay, and when you come into this truth, believe it or not, hey, you promise the Lord that you will serve him, man. You know, to be disloyal to, be unfaithful to, break faith with, play someone false. Okay. So you betray the Lord. Guess what? You played him. You played him false. Okay, and hey, that's lawful, man. That if you if you uh, I just read that scripture. It's in Corinthians. All right, um, basically speaking about um, it's lawful to put put away your wife if she committed adultery on you. You know. So it says to break one's promise to, be disloyal to, 
be unfaithful to, break faith with, play someone false, fall let down. It says more, double cross, deceive, cheat. Now let's go into that word. Which one? Uh, oh, okay. When you go into the word cheat, it says act dishonestly or unfairly in order to gain an advantage, especially in a game or examination. Deceive a trick. All right. It says uh, swindle, defraud, deceive, trick, dupe, hoodwink, double cross, gal, shortchange. All right. When you go into the word shortchange, it's che cheating someone by giving insufficient money as change. Okay. And our money that we give the Lord, all right, our sacrifice that we give the Lord is what? Our time. All right. So you could be betraying the Lord by not giving him by not giving him enough time. All right. So hey, following the Lord is very um is very um is life consuming. But this is our life, this is our heritage. So it's rightly so. So it says cheat someone by giving insufficient money as change. Treat unfairly by withholding something of value. Okay? So you could treat the Lord unfairly by giving him your time. All right, or by taking away from his his word, man. Okay, so it's very very important not to betray the Lord. Okay, this is Matthew twenty seven. In three, actually, I'm gonna get in uh, my sword. Matthew's 27 and three. Then Judas, which betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. Let's look at that word condemned. So the word condemned. To give judgment against. To judge worthy of punishment. Alright. So basically. You know. By betraying the Lord. It's going to be even worse off for you. Alright. Because you're going to be condemned in your spirit man. You know. It was a dude like that in the camp. You know. Once he fell away. You know. He stopped. Um, He tried to uh, duck brothers calls. He tried to duck brothers in, in general man. You know, it was actually a few dudes in our camp like that. The ones they fell away, they 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 were condemned. You know, and that's just hey, that's really just the uh, the beginning of your sorrows, as it says, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. Going to also prove too that those that uh, betray the Lord, they're going to try to come back. Okay, saying I have sinned that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, "What is that to us? See that thou, see thou to that, okay." And now, when you spiritually look at it, you know, hey, like we just read, it's better if you wasn't born, because there's no repentance for that, man. You know, and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself, okay. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said. It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. Okay? It is the price of blood. And once you betray the Lord, that's your ass. You know? The only way it can be fixed is by the Lord putting you to death. Okay? So it is very important not to betray the Lord. And as we just went into, it can go into a number of different things. Okay? To shortchange, we just went into that. All right, what else did it say? Um, let's go back into it. To cheat, okay. To violate by unfaithfulness. To deliver or expose to the power of an enemy by treachery. 
All right, so that's two thirds of you black, so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, false pastors who pick up the word and don't know what the hell they're talking about, or those who are who, who know that they're Israelites, but still, um, you know, sell the Lord short because of their pockets for for their gain. You're betraying the Lord. All right, and a hey, some sins as that, you know, which that's basically the sin of adultery. All right, spiritually adultery. Is uh, you know, is basically um, rewarded with death. Okay, so it's best not to betray the Lord, man. It's best to walk with Him. All right, and um, you know, it's better to walk with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right, because the time is going to come, where as the scriptures say, all those. All right, you're basically going to get judged for what you did. All right, let me, let me get that. You know, and it goes for myself for it. That's, that's why the scriptures say, let us therefore fear. In Hebrews 4, lest the promise being less, left of us, some of us should seem to come short of it. Okay? And the ultimate way, all right, and what you're going to prove, all right, that you damn sure don't want to uh, betray the Lord is by taking that chip. Okay? Because that's selling the Lord short. All right? That's uh, uh, cheating on, on the Lord. That's cheating the Lord. All right, because the Lord, his name is Yahweh Shah, which means he is the deliverer. So do you believe that? Are you going to cheat on him? Okay. Are you going to really, you know, believe that that chip is a uh, is the, uh, uh, way of salvation? Or do you really believe that the Lord, Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shah's father, he is. And do you believe that Yahweh Shah means he is the savior? Okay. So this is Romans chapter 14. This is a pretty good one. Verse 11 is for, for, for it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. All right. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. All right. So everyone is every one of us is going to give account to yourself to God what you did in his flesh. All right. You know. So with that, well, will you I can edify Shalom to the elect.